it is the last week of the month of september welcome um we're gonna be fasting for three days and for seven hours no eight hours last month we fasted for three days for seven hours. This month, we're going to build capacity and expand. We're fasting for three days for eight hours each day, and we are going to break our fasting with Holy Communion, all right? We're going to end this month sacrificing three days out of our month to honor God, to extol God, to exalt God, to spend time with God intentionally. So we enter the new month empowered and strong and ready for October. Amen. I am so excited. I hope you're excited too. All right. We're going to do three days of fasting for eight hours per day. We're going to break the fast with Holy Communion. If you don't know what Holy Communion is or how to do Holy Communion, please find the folder that talks about Holy Communion and educate yourself on Holy Communion. There's a lot of scriptures. There's a lot of a lot of explanations that go into this but I want you guys to do something that you understand the Bible says in Proverbs 11 9b through knowledge are the just delivered so if you understand if you get the knowledge of something and you understand what you just acquired knowledge of then you are able to implement what you understood you cannot do something you don't understand in the spiritual realm that can be very dangerous all right so we're acquiring knowledge we're understanding what we learned and then we are implementing that in order to gain wisdom in the kingdom of God so we're fasting for three days we're fasting for the eight hours each day we're breaking the fast with Holy Communion there's plenty of resources I've covered that extensively already we're going to meditate and pray using these four scriptures first scripture is Malachi 3 verse 3 Second scripture is Deuteronomy 30 verse 6. Third scripture is Obadiah 117. And the fourth scripture is Proverbs 631. The first scripture says this. Malachi 3 verse 3 says, He will sit as a refiner. Who is he? God sits as a refiner and a purifier of silver. Who purify the sons of Levi. Who, who were the sons of Levi? The Levi tribe were priests. And I've taught you that we are priests unto God. All right. So God has to purify the priests. You cannot do offerings of righteousness. You cannot do sacrifice of thanksgiving, praise, and worship. If your heart is full of malice, full of uh, unforgiveness, grudges, um, hatred. Okay. So you need God as a refiner to refine you and purify you. So you're going to pray, Lord, as you sit as a refiner, as you sit as a purifier of silver and of gold, as you sit as a purifier of the sons of Levi, the priests, and purge them as gold and silver, purge me as gold and silver is purged. That way I may offer to you, O Lord, offerings of righteousness. I want to offer things to you with a pure heart. Amen. Amen. All right. Second scripture is Deuteronomy 30 verse 6. We want to read that verbatim. And he says this. And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all of your heart and all of your soul that you may live. So God has to circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants so you can love God with all of your heart and all of your soul that you may live. Amen. So God wants our hearts. This fast is about getting our hearts in check, getting our hearts purified, purged, getting our hearts circumcised by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. That's the second prayer point. That is second scripture of meditation amen third scripture is obadiah 117 and that one states on mount zion there is deliverance there is holiness and jacob possesses his possessions all right so you're saying this lord i'm on mount zion the city of the living god and on mount zion there is deliverance deliver me oh lord from anything that is within me that does not reflect your kingdom deliver me oh lord give me your holiness give me your righteousness give me your righteousness oh lord without you i cannot be holy without you i cannot be righteous 
give me your righteousness and I possess my possession. Everything that belongs to me that was stolen by the thief. Who is the thief? The devil, John 10.10. 10. Everything that was stolen from me, I repossess it in the name of Jesus. And then you transition into Proverbs 6.31 which says this. That when a thief is caught, he must pay back sevenfold of that which he had stolen. You're already asking to repossess what he stole from you, right? So you ask for how much you want back. He stole from me. So I'm asking for sevenfold repayment. Sevenfold recompense of what the enemy stole from me. In the name of Jesus. And you are decreeing and declaring this after God has purified your heart, purged your heart, cleansed your heart. After you have offered up offerings of righteousness, offerings of praise, of thanksgiving. Now as a priest you can command these things and they shall be. You shall declare a thing and it shall be established. Job 22 verse 28. Amen. God bless you and empower you during this fast. And I'll see you on Friday. We're going to pray. We're going to worship. We're going to thank God. And yes.